Hey, today's yoga is yin yoga for support and grounding and we are focusing on our first chakra, Muladhara, uh, which repre represents a support system for all the other chakras and it kind of angers us to our world and its energetic calling is to help us feel grounded and stable and before we get started please make sure that you read the description of this video so you find information on my blog posts and my email list and how to join and also my online courses if you are interested in joining there is one uh, free course for example but let's get started you will need a block for this practice and we will start this practice today in easy pose so sit on your mat try to find comf comfortable seat keeping your spine straight and long you can place your palms either on your knees or your lap you can close your eyes and just breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose Feel the connection between yourself and your mat. And you can slowly build a trust between you and your mat and the ground. So you can trust that you are supported by the earth. knowing that you don't need to hold yourself the ground is supporting you and holding you continue on breathing full and deep And then slowly you can start to release yourself and we are coming to child's pose so you can come to your all fours you can come and sit on your heels and then start placing your forehead onto the ground your arms can be on the side of your head breathe in length into your spine And as you exhale, again, feel the support that the ground is giving you. Feel a sense of being held here by the earth. Feel as if you are being loved and cared for and your all needs are met. And all the time, let your breath guide you further. Let your breath 
build trust between yourself and the crown. And continue on breathing full and deep. You can slowly start to release yourself and then come on your knees, place your toes under. We are coming to toe squat. And as you are sitting on your heels, make sure that all of your toes are under you. So even the, uh, the little one and then just sit there on your heels. Try to keep your back straight and long and try to find your breath and imagine as if your toes are tap roots into the soil. Open them up here to feel the energy rise up from the ground into your feet. And I know this might be a little intense, so just try to breathe through those uncomfortable feelings. I promise it will feel amazing once you release yourself from here. So again, let your breath be the guide. And try to breathe through the uncomfortable feelings. Then slowly you can release yourself and come and straighten your legs and then you can have a little bend in your knees and then just come into your dangling pose. You can have your block under your forehead to support you 
Let your arms rest or palms rest, rest on your mat. Try to keep your legs slightly active and grounded as you bow your spine forward. But as you are breathing here, just let everything in you melt toward the ground. And know that you can do that. The ground is supporting you. While you are here breathing, exchanging energies, inhaling and exhaling, noticing the movements in, in your body, the wavy kind of flow of breaths. And then you can start to release yourself and you can have your feet on the outer edges on your mat. We are coming to a squat pose. So you can have also your toes a little bit outward and then come to your squat. You can again have your block under your forehead to support you or you can place your arms or your palms on your block. And relax your neck. Let your tailbone be heavy. And just relax. And feel the closeness of the ground. We have a few more breaths here.
Then you can start to lift yourself and come and sit down on your mat. And you can place the soles of your feet together, open your knees wide apart. We are coming to butterfly pose next. So you can grab hold of your ankles and grow toward the ceiling a bit and then come to your forward fold. As we are doing this practice of Muladhara Chakra, uh, you should know at this point that Mula means base and now we are connecting our base with the ground. Continue on breathing fully and deeply. We have a few more breaths here. And then you can start to release yourself and open your legs wide apart. We are coming to track and fly next. And sit evenly left and right on your sit bones and feel your tail drop. And from there start walking your hands to the top of your mat and come to your forward fold. Remember that it doesn't matter where you land in your forward fold. You can have your head supported by your block. Or you can place your hands over your block. Just feel the connection with the crown. Focusing and anchoring yourself into your breaths. Following your breaths, maybe directing your breaths into that space that feels more maybe dense or where this asana feels the most in your body.
So a few more breaths here. And then you can start to lift yourself up and come lie on your back. You can bend your knees. And grab hold of your feet over your chest and just cradle, cradle yourself a little. So you can rock side to side, give a little massage to your tailbone and sacrum. Breathing in fully and deeply. We have a few more breaths here. Then you can release yourself into your happy baby pose. So grab hold of your, the soles of your feet from the inside or outside and then start bringing your knees toward your armpits. And try to have the soles of your feet pointing toward the ceiling, finding comfortable place for here to stay for a few breaths. We are staying here for a few breaths more.
then you can release yourself and keep your knees bended and you will need your block for the next one we are coming to support it bridge so keep your knees bending bended and start lifting your hips toward the ceiling so you can place your block under yourself let your tailbone be heavy on the block and the skin around your lower back and sac sacrum spread and you can affirm here all my ne needs are met and you can kind of repeat that a few times all my needs are met And also your hands can be on the side of your body or you can lift them over your head whichever feels more comfortable and again have that feeling that everything in you is melting towards your, uh, toward your mat We have a few more breaths here. Then you can start to lift your hips up and remove your block and we are ready for our Savasana today. So you can have your feet open outward a little, relaxing your hips, let your arms rest on the side of your body, nod your chin in a little. Commit yourself back to the safety of the earth. And let your breaths spread more relaxation into your body. So the wave of relaxation is lifting up from your feet all the way to the crown of your head, breath by breath, leaving your body heavier and heavier along the way.
The quote today goes like this. The miracle is to walk on the green earth, dwelling deeply in the present moment and feeling truly alive. You can start to invite a little bit of movement into your body, your fingers and your toes, maybe stretching yourself long. Coming up to seated position, finding comfortable seated position, keeping your back straight and long, finding gratitude in your heart toward the practice that you just did. I want to thank you for sharing this moment with me today. You can lift your palms onto your heart center. And from there, thumbs in between your brows, making a little bow to say thank you. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. And we see each other again next time. And remember, if you haven't already, do comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.